Hey there, it's Big Game James McCarty, the sports director at Flag Family Media. This is another Valley pre-owned fan cam. I'm here with Fargo North head coach Travis Hogue. Coach, you just got your squad's first win in the state tournament in, what, 11 years? How does that feel? I tell you what, we, we just had one of our assistant coaches up there reminding all the guys how important this win was for us today um, and how special it is. I mean, 2011, it's a long time for our program, and I'm just super happy for our guys, super happy for our eight seniors that we get to play again tomorrow and hopefully, uh, you know, be one of the three teams that walk out with a win in the last game of your season. So. Yeah, that's exactly what we just talked to Luke Loberg. He said the same thing. He's pumped because he has an opportunity to be one of the last three teams to come out with a victory. Only three teams in the state of North Dakota can say that in the Class A level. Just how great is that for it, especially from a team, you know what, they, they've been through the ugly. They've been through some of the good things the last couple of years. You broke a decade-long state drought last year. You Now you've broken a decade-plus-long um, losing streak, essentially, the state tournament. How great is that for your senior class this year? Oh, man, I tell you what, those guys are so special. Hey, they're, hey. they're special, and I'm so happy for them. Hey, it, it's absolutely awesome with that. When you're looking at it, too, you have a couple of sophomores, too. you got guys like Carter Zeller, who's having a great sophomore campaign. He had 10 points, 9 rebounds. you got Jeremiah Sam. He's starting to come into his own as well. How great is it knowing that your program is going to be taking care of the next couple of years, too? Oh, man, I'm so excited. Yeah, I mean, I want to finish this year out great for our guys, our eight seniors. But, yes, the future looks bright for, for North. You know, we got a lot of young guys that are super talented, you know, they, they dedicate a lot of time in the summer and spring playing some AAU ball. And, you know, they've grown up playing uh, a high-level basketball, going to the city, soup balls. Um, so, yeah, the, you know, I'm super excited about what's coming up the pipe for North. And, and as I have, as we're wrapping up this conversation, yesterday, an absolute heartbreaker against Minot High. Isaac Cody knocked down a half-quarter at, at the buzzer at the end of the first half. Gabe Segwold sent it to overtime. And then you had you had the the game winner by by Minot High and Derek Desat as time expired. How were you able to get your your boys, your young men, ready to rock and roll for a game against Mandan and come out with a victory still after such a heartbreaking loss that required extra time last night? Yeah, man, I tell you what, that was uh, probably one of the best basketball games I've ever been involved in in 27 years of coaching. And uh, you know, give credit to Derek Desat; he's one heck of a player and he hit one heck of a shot. Um, so, but I guess, oh gosh, I totally forgot what the question was again. Just what was it again? How, I, how I, were you? I an answer, I swear to God. <laughs> hey, you guys, just how were you able to bounce back oh, against yeah, such yeah. a heartbreaking loss last yeah, night? So, you know, we went in the locker room after that game, and yeah, I mean, it was, everybody was kind of disappointed and sad and a lot of sad, sorry faces. And I looked at them and I said, hey, you got one hour to feel sorry for yourself, you got one hour to be sad. And then your mindset shifts because we go to war again against a really physical basketball team. So I said, you're allowed one hour. Feel sorry, feel sad, but tomorrow we go back to war and we got to get our minds right. And they sure did it. Hey, definitely. Hey, Coach, congratulations on that victory. We're pulling for you guys tomorrow afternoon. This is such a cool experience, such a cool environment, oh, and uh, I'm happy for your Spartans, man. Appreciate that. Thanks for having me on.